So you had your new computer for a while, and things have been going really smoothly. Until out of nowhere, this message pops up. What's going on? What actually happened is that the 30-day trial period of Windows has expired and now needs to be activated using the information on the system. In this guide, we're going to walk you through how to get this done so you can get back to work. The only thing that you need to activate Windows is an internet connection and the product key. Product keys appear as colorful stickers that can be found somewhere on the outside of your unit. If you have a desktop, typically it's right there on front of the case. Every computer that we sell has one, so if you can't find it immediately, it'll be on the case somewhere. If you're using a laptop, the sticker can be found on the bottom and occasionally beneath the battery cover. We'll need the 25-digit code on the sticker, so it's always a good idea to take a nice clear picture with your phone so you don't have to keep going back to it. No matter how the messages come to you, you'll always end up at the same activation screen. If you don't want to wait for an activation prompt, you can always use the method that I'm about to demonstrate. We'll start by making our way to the Start menu, either by clicking the icon on the lower left or by hitting your Windows key. Next, type in the word Activate. Your first result should be Check to see if Windows is activated. Next, we need to click Change Product Key, which will lead you to this screen. Since you are able to watch this video, we know that you're connected to the Internet. So the only step left for you to do is enter your 25-digit product key. Consulting the picture that you took with your phone, enter your 25-digit product key. Remember that some letters and numbers can look alike. It's for this reason that the letter O and the number 0 are not used in product keys. Other extremely common number mix-ups include the letter B and the number 8, and the letter G and the number 6. Remember to leave your caps lock key off for this procedure. After correctly entering your product key, you'll be brought to this next screen confirming your activation. If all else fails, you can still activate Windows 10 via the phone. It isn't as easy as the online method, so only use this as a last resort. Start by hitting the Windows key and the R key. This will open up a small window. In the prompt, type SLUI space 4 and hit enter. This will open the Activate by Phone window the quickest way. After selecting your country, you'll see the number to call. On the line, you'll receive instructions to enter these nine blocks of numbers. When they're entered in, you will have to enter eight blocks of numbers given to you by the automated phone system. When all the info is entered in, you should be able to activate Windows. All that's left to do is hit Next and voila! Now Windows is activated, and you won't receive any more annoying reminders. Good job! Remember that if you did everything in this video correctly and you're still having problems, you can always get a hold of us, and we're always ready to help. Thanks for watching, thanks for your patience, and happy computing.